All right, go ahead. Ponder the painting of an alligator. It would be kind of neat if all his tail is just the tail missing, right? Showing. Nice contrast between the, the gray of him and the, uh, the cool gray of him and the nice warm grass. If we could get a nice big cloud to uh, reflect on the water there, it would be nice. <laughs> That'd be cute painting. So do you start with one gray and then add little bits of different colors to it? The, um, yeah, I would make them all like a medium tone gray and then see on this side it's a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. You'd make that side, that little piece of value or two darker and then up on the tail a little bit darker. And then all those little teeth things on the top are all, the sun's hitting them so they're all lighter. Oh, he's not that far down then. It looked like he'd be way down, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Those must be monkeys that make all that noise, huh? Could be. Oh, just his little nose is submerging. Now it's just his eyes. We get so many birds this year. We have uh, a pair of Baltimore Orioles. Mm -hmm. A bluebird pair? We've never had those before. The Orioles, are just that orange? Mm -hmm. That would be a really hard color to duplicate. Now we're back at the American alligator enclosure, only 15 minutes later from the previous shot when he had his body half submerged in the water. And now he's back out all on the grass. So now you can see that you can see his face and his upper body, and you can see the beautiful detailing of his back. So if you wait just a few minutes and are patient, you never know what kind of poses you'll get and what kind of new lighting changes that will present themselves. <laughs> 